yesterday we started Junie B. Jones is a graduation girl and it's the week of graduation. We're on chapter two, rhymes. I sat at my table very nice. Mrs. passed out colored paper for our invitations. Also, she passed out curly ribbon and lace and paste and bottles of sparkly glitter. Just as a reminder, she said, we do not paste glitter in our eyebrows and we do not put lace up our noses. And above all, we do not glue curly ribbon to our heads and pretend that it's long hair. She looked and looked at me. I squirmed in my seat a little bit because that woman has a memory like a hawk, I tell you. Finally, Mrs. went to the board and she picked up her chalk. On the inside of our cards, we're going to write a poem about graduation. Does anyone have any ideas for the first line? My friend named Grace waved her hand all around in the air. Roses are red, roses are red, she called out. Yes, hollered room nine, roses are red. Mrs. smiled. She wrote it on the board for us. Okay, now what about the second line, she asked. Room nine hollered again, all capitals. Violets are blue, violets are blue, violets are blue. Mrs. wrote that line too. Very good class, she said. Now who can think of the third line? Maybe we should try to mention something about graduation in this one. Does anyone have any ideas? A shy boy named William stood up next to his table. Graduation is here, he said kind of nervous. Mrs. grinned real big. Excellent job, William, excellent. And she printed it on the board. All right, there's just one more line to go, she said. Let's try to make it the last word rhyme with the word blue, okay? I hope they can do that. We could do that. She read the first three lines out loud to us. Roses are red, violets are blue. Graduation is here. Room nine thought and thought. Then all of a sudden, rhymes started coming from all over the place. My dress will be new, called Lucille. My dad's name is Lou, called Jamal Hall. We made it, woo-hoo called Linny. Just then, Polly Allen Puffa springed right out of his chair and he started laughing his head off. The zoo is P.U., he shouted the loudest. Then all of room nine laughed our heads off because P.U. is the silliest rhyme we ever heard of. Mrs. clapped her hands together. Boys and girls, that's enough, she said grouchy. She hurried to Polly Allen Puffa's table and she put him back in his seat. I do not appreciate that kind of behavior, young man, she said. We're trying to write a nice class poem here. And your rhyme was entirely inappropriate. After that, I tried to stop giggling, but that silly poem kept on staying inside my head. And then out of nowhere, another funny poem popped right into my brain and I couldn't even hold it inside me. I quick jumped up on my chair as loud as I can, all capitals. Roses are red, violets are blue. Graduation is here and your feet smell like steak. I shouted. After that room nine could not even control themselves again because that poem was the funniest thing that they ever heard. My teacher's eyes got big and wide at me. Junie B. Jones, didn't you hear a word I just said? She said, very annoyed. Then Mrs. hurried to my table. She took me into the hall and she pointed me straight to the office. Tomorrow, chapter three, a good chuckle. See you tomorrow.